I can't believe I finally found a mini-map. Notice at the top right of the screen. Notice it's showing me the quest marker on the border of the mini-map. So I can now follow a road. So let me show you what I have here. Okay, so many maps were broken back in October of 2022. This thing still shows out of date, but it's working. This mini map works. So let's see how I've set it up. So I clicked on wheel mode defaults to get my circular minimap and it put it in the right place. Oh, I guess I could, yeah, anyway, the default was, I got it on the top. Let's see, you don't have to mess with this. I did fiddle with uh, zoom and zoom stepping a little bit. This is all confusing, but it's working. You notice that, that yeah, I don't understand the zooming exactly, the, the auto zooming exactly. But uh, anyway, I can follow a road to my destination. So we'll see. Uh, I can show you how to set that up. Things have never looked worse. Buying, selling, trading. Notice that the built in bar across the top, the compass, the built-in Elder Scrolls compass is working along with the minimap, and that's really the best hey, case because you're alive. the uh, bar across the top has some information that uh, it's hard to display on the minimap. So I'm finding my way back to Cold Harbor. So, anyway, that works. It looks like this mini-map is working quite well. Um, watch me follow here to the next uh, quest point. Notice the full-sized normal bar across the top from the game and the compass on the right side. You there, come. As you can see, this works fine in Delves, too. Uh, I haven't tried it in a... Uh, in a dungeon yet, but we'll see. I also set up some key bindings for the minimap plugin or add-on. So let's look at those.
mini map. Here they are. They're in the main list of key bindings. So I use the uh, keypad to set up, uh, turn it on and turn it off, zoom in and zoom out, and uh, a quick to reload the uh, minimap in case it gets messed up. So those might be useful. Okay, I hope that helps. Here's a page where I found a minimap that works. In 2023, you'll notice the date is basically today. Uh, I'm recording this on the 2nd of January, and this looks like it was released on the 2nd of January. Also, this requires this lib add on menu which goes to this page and you'll need both of those to make this work. So just to review how you install add-ons in Elder Scrolls Online you may already know this. You want to download the minimap and the library add-on menu and save them to a folder. And they're going to be zip files. So here's where we put add-ons, users, your name, documents, Elder Scrolls Online Live, add-ons, and of course you don't drag the zip files here. What you do is use some program, perhaps Windows Works, I use 7-zip open the archive and drag the folder inside the archive into here. So here's the minimap and the lib add on menu. Are both in add-ons. If you do this while the program is running, the client, it won't be seen. You have to do this and then run the client. So let's uh, go ahead and see what happens here. So once the client is loaded, after you put the add-ons in the right place, if you click on add-ons on the left side here, you get a dialog and make sure they're both enabled. Notice the lib add-on menu says out of date. It works anyway apparently. The minimap though works now, this version, as of today. and. Uh, so you enable this and then uh, let's go to a character well you've seen what happens when you load a character so I always showed uh, I already showed you the bindings and the uh, settings for the add-on.
So I hope that works for you.